Good morning, class. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020, and we are going to be talking about grouping shapes. One way to group shapes is by talking about their attributes. Attribute. Can you say that word? Attribute. Attributes are different ways that we can describe all of these shapes. So we can group the shapes and describe them by their size, by their color, by their shape, by their number of sides, and also by the number of corners. These are just some examples that we're going to go over today. If we look at all the shapes on the board, and we said, let's group them and find all of the ones that are small and put them together, we could move the shapes around and put all of the small ones together. Unfortunately, since these are drawings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little put a little check mark or circle the shapes that I'm talking about. So if I wanted to sort them by size and I said, let's put all the small ones together, I would circle all of the small shapes and put them in a group. Those would be my small shapes. That would be one way to group them. And then I would make another group of the medium sized shapes. And then I would make another group of the large sized shapes. So that would be making groups using size, sorting them, grouping the shapes according to how big and how small they are. Another way we can group them is by color. So if I wanted to make groups of color, I can say, oh, I'm gonna put all of the red shapes in one group. Here are all of my red shapes. I would put them in one group. I would make another group of all the green shapes all the purple shapes, okay? So that is grouping the shapes by color. Another way to group them is by what shape they are. So I can say I'm going to group all of the triangles together, all of the circles together, all of the squares together. So here is me, my all my triangles. Oops, that shouldn't be there. This is me grouping all of the triangles in one spot. Another way to sort and group our shapes is by the number of sides. So for example, I could say, I want to make a group where all of the shapes have only four sides. So then I would say, oh, this has four sides. Yep, four sides, four sides. So all of the shapes that have four sides would go into that group. And all of the shapes that don't have four sides would go into another group. So for example, the circles and the triangles would go into another group. And the last way, let's talk about shape um, sorting and grouping our shapes is the number of corners. For example, I could say, I'm going to sort all the shapes that have zero corners. Which shapes have zero corners? Here we go. All of the circles would be the shapes that have zero corners. And on the other side, I would have a group of all the other shapes that do have corners. All my triangles, my squares, rectangles, trapezoids, rhombuses, they would all go inside that other group that has corners, okay? So now let's take a look at our book. Let's open to our textbook, lesson two in shapes. It's on page 145. And here it says group these shapes in different ways. What is one way to group these shapes? Mm. If I was using color, I could say a group of pink, a group of blue, a group of yellow. If I said by shape, I could put all of my circles in one place, all of the triangles in one place, all of the squares and all of the rectangles in a place. Excellent job. Let's go over to the next page. Now we're going to look at these shapes and decide how they are grouped. Letter A. I'm looking at these and I can tell that these are grouped by colors because there's lots of different shapes, but they're all the same color. So I'm looking to see what do all of these shapes have in common to know how they are grouped and sorted. So the attribute that we used to group these is color. So I would write down grouped by color. Let's look at letter B. I am looking at all of them to see what do they have 
in common. So their color is not in common. The shape is not in common. But I do notice their size. They're all big. These are all small. I'm sorry, medium. And these are all small. So I can tell that they are grouped by size. So then I'm going to write down grouped by size. Let's look at letter C. Again, I'm looking to see what do they have in common. I am looking here. I notice that they are all the same shape. They're all rectangles. These are all squares, all triangles, all circles. So what do they have in common? They're all the same shape in each group. So they are sorted by, you got it, shapes. So I would write down grouped by shape. Let's take a look at number one. It says, how are these shapes grouped? Again, we're trying to find out how they are grouped. So I'm going to look at the very first one. They are not the same color. They are not the same shape. They are not, well, they're kind of the same size, but all the groups are similar in size, so that didn't work. Let's try number of sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all of the shapes in here had four sides. Let's check what's in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All the shapes in this group had three sides. All the shapes in here have zero sides. So that means these are all grouped by the number of sides. So we would write down grouped by the number of sides. Number two, ooh, look at this one. It says what comes next in each pattern. We are working on patterns, that's exciting. So let's say all the colors to see what comes next, yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, you guessed it, this would be a green circle. I'm going to write down green on top of it, a green circle. Remember, a pattern is repeating. It has to repeat. Yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, blue. Let's look at letter B to see what comes next. A square another square. <laughs> I'm going to call this one a diamond, even though it's just the same square, just positioned differently. Square, diamond, square, diamond, square, diamond, square, diamond. I'm just going to draw the shape right there. Let's look at letter C. They're all triangles. This is red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and this triangle is looking down. You could have also said up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Either way, you would be correct. So here is the pattern that is repeating, and here is the pattern that is repeating. Okay, great job, loves. Let's go to the next page. Wow, this was a short, quick lesson. Number three. It says complete the pattern. So we're going to find the missing parts to complete each pattern. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch missing there. Remember again, a pattern repeats. Let's see what we have. Big, medium, small. Big, medium, small. Big, you guessed it, medium, small. This is what is repeating. Big, medium, small. Let's look at letter B. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, you guessed it, triangle, square, triangle. This is the part that is repeating. Letter C. Here we have rectangle, triangle, hmm, triangle. Notice I said hmm and that didn't use the answer right away because I want to see what repeats. So. Rectangle, triangle, hmm, triangle, 
Rectangle, triangle, rectangle. Did you notice what repeated the rectangle and the triangle? So now we can solve the pattern. Rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle. You guessed it, triangle. Okay, let's look at letter D. I see red, blue, I don't know, green. Okay, so it didn't repeat until I came here. I noticed the red is repeating. Red, something, red, green. Hmm. Red, blue, red, green. Oh, here's a complete one. That's going to help me a lot. Red, blue, red, green. Let's see if that works. Red, blue, I'll put R for red, green. Red, blue, red, green. Red, you guessed it, blue, red, green. Did you see that? Awesome. Let's look at letter E. Up, down, circle, down. Up, down, circle, down. Up, down, circle, hmm. Did you catch that? Up, down, circle, down. Up, down, circle, you guessed it, it would be down. Hmm, 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 hmm. Up, down, circle, down. Here's my triangle looking up, my triangle looking down, circle, down. And then here my pattern starts again. Up, down, circle, down. Up, down, circle, down. Up, down, circle, down, and up again. Great job, you guys. Wow, that was so much fun. Let's take a look at our workbook to see what we're working on. We're going to open our workbook to exercise number two. Here it says cross out the shapes that does not belong. Ooh, that's a lot of fun. I'm looking at letter A. I can tell right away there's one shape that doesn't belong based on the number of sides, right? These all have four sides and this one has three. Go ahead and cross out the shapes that doesn't belong. Turn to the next page. It says circle the shapes that comes next in each pattern. So we're looking for patterns. On the next page it says what does not belong? Again, you're crossing out the shape that doesn't belong and looking for more patterns. And on the last page, you're going to draw in the pattern that comes next and you have a fun little challenge to end with. Okay, that is all for today. You guys did such a wonderful job. Have fun doing your workbook. And as always, if you need any help, please ask an adult to help you. Great job, sweethearts. See you tomorrow. Bye.